Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to review the Certified Red Team Professional or CRTP exam by the Pintester Academy. I'm going to go over the course content, the exam, followed by my thoughts. And overall, is the certification worth it? If I don't address your question in this video, feel free to leave it below in a comment and make sure to like and subscribe as well. Alright, so let's start with what the course is. It's a course that focuses on active directory attacks. It also mentions defenses for each of those attacks, which is really cool. It is geared more towards red teaming over pen testing. So this one is more realistic in the sense that you're in an environment with fully patched systems and antivirus is running on each of the machines. And it is active directory focused, so you're not going around running port scans and trying to find unpatched systems, looking at vulnerabilities for those systems, and so on. This is more of enumerating the active directory environment, seeing where there's misconfigurations and using attacks to abuse the environment, escalating yourself from a low level account all the way up to domain and even enterprise admin. Um, it also talks about persistence on whenever you get that access on being able to keep that access. So let's go into the course syllabus. At the moment, there's 23 learning objectives and 59 tasks. Uh, there is video, which is really cool. And at the moment, there's 120 hours of it. The first topic is Active Directory Enumeration. And again, this is in a Windows environment, so all this is through the PowerShell command line. Um, right away, it does mention how to bypass uh, some antivirus. And through the enumeration section, it'll show you how to find users, group, computers, and other information that you'll use later on. Then it'll go into local privilege escalation. So they'll give you a low level account and they'll show you different ways on how to escalate those privileges. After that, it'll go into domain privilege escalation. So it'll show you ways on how to get domain admin access. Here, it'll talk about different methods such as Kerberosing. And in one of these sections, it mentions Bloodhound, which is really cool. Um, it'll show you step by step on how to run a collector and how to set up Bloodhound. And it'll show you how to abuse certain things that you find in Bloodhound, uh, such as unconstrained delegation. Then it'll go into domain persistence. And what this basically means is once you get to the main admin, it'll show you ways on how to keep that access in case that account gets locked down. Company finds out they have access to the account, so they cut it off completely. It talks about golden ticket and silver ticket attacks. It also talks about DC syncs, which are very common in engagements. After that, it will talk about cross trust attacks, which shows methods that I was not aware of before. So it'll take your domain admin and show you how to get enterprise admin. Certain companies will have multiple domains. So just because you gain access to a domain admin in one domain does not mean that you'll have domain access in another domain with that account. So it'll show you how to get enterprise admin or you'll be able to get elevated access in each of the domains. Then it'll go into force persistence. So say you get that account and the target finds out that you have access to the account, so it locks it down. It'll show you different ways like DC shadow on how to keep that persistence and access. And the cool thing about this certification in course is it also discusses defenses. So for each of the attacks, it also talks about defenses for those attacks. And they do provide really good videos on this event section. And it does talk about 59 tasks. So the environment, there will be tasks or exercises that you can perform. So in each of these topics, there will be related tasks to each of those topics that you could try in the lab. So you could get a little bit more familiar with each of these. So for example, in the enumeration section, a task would be find the domain name of the environment because in the videos, it'll show you how to find the domain name, or it'll say um, find an account that's Kerberosable. So I found the task really useful, and I definitely recommend if you're going to the course to focus on the task as well. So going into the certification, it is a hands-on 24-hour exam, which is really cool. I definitely like hands-on exams over multiple choice questions. Um, I think it's more realistic. So after the 24 hours, you'll have 48 hours to create and submit your exam report, which is pretty much like a detailed walkthrough of how you performed into the actions. And the instructions that I was given for the exam was to get command line execution on each of the machines. So it didn't care if you got local administrative access on each of the machines, it just cares that you're able to run commands on each of them. It doesn't say the minimum requirement. So a safe mindset is the command line execution on all the machines. And the report does matter. So even if you get command line execution on all the machines and your report doesn't reflect the steps that you did, then you 
might not pass the exam. So do put a focus on the report and make sure you're taking sufficient screenshots as you're going through the exam. At this time, a re attempt fee is 99 USD. The exam is similar to the lab where all the machines are fully patched, it's all windows. It's not proctored, so you don't have to set up a webcam and have somebody monitor you. Uh, one of the cool thing about the exam that I like as far as scheduling it is uh, so whenever you sign up for the account, you'll be given a portal. Uh, the portal will have all the content videos and uh, tasks that you perform in the lab. And then there's also a tab for the exam. So whenever you click on that tab for the exam, it'll allow you to start the exam. So you don't have to worry about scheduling it two weeks in advance, uh, getting a specific time slot. Um, say you're feeling prepared and uh, you want to start the exam already, you could just click it. It takes a little while, about 10 or 15 minutes to set up the exam environment for you. And it will provide timer, which is really cool on how much time you have left in the exam. And whenever you're done with the exam, you just click stop exam. It'll turn off all the machines. And so once you do that, you can't access the exam again. So just make sure you are completely finished. Um, you do have all the screenshots. Um, if you do have some time left, I would not in the exam and I would start writing the report. You could reset the machines, walk through steps again and take screenshots if needed. And one of the things that I do like about the CRTP course and exam is that for the exam, the content that you learn in the course and the lab and the flags, all that is related to the exam. So if you go through all the course and you go through all the tasks in the lab, I believe you'll have a very good chance of passing the CRTP exam. That's not to say that it'll be a breeze because there will be certain parts in the exam where you may get stuck. For example, whenever I first took the exam and I failed, um, I did get stuck on a certain part and it did take me a very long time to pass that part. But I think if you do take your time in the course content and the labs, I think that's a very good chance that you'll do very well on the CRTP exam. The purchase options is 30 day lab time, 60 day lab time, and 90 day lab time. You could take your exam at any time during this. So you don't have to wait the full 30, 60, or 90 days. At the moment, it is mentioning that there is a sale going on, so that's why you see the prices in red. Um, if you do look at a later time and you see the regular prices, well, that's why. Um, and as far as the lab time that you should purchase, um, it just depends on how familiar you are with pen testing or red teaming in general. So if you haven't got any pen testing certs and you haven't really done any uh, CTFs on your free time, I would gear more towards the 60 day or the 90 day. If you do have some pen testing experience or you do have some certs under your belt, then I would say 30 or 60 day and also consider the amount of time that you're willing to spend. So I wasn't planning to do this every day for hours. So I got the 60 day. Um, if it is something that you're gonna be doing every day or planning to do every day, um, then go with the lower amount of days. And I also think the prices are pretty fair uh, considering that you do get the certification and it does provide the courses. Um, there are some certs that are multiple times more expensive than this. So I do like that it is fairly reasonable. Okay, so now to go into my thoughts and some frequently asked questions that I see in forms related to the certification. So first, is the course relevant? Will the stuff that you learn actually help you in real life pen testing or red teaming? I can easily say that the stuff that it teaches you here is very relevant and real world stuff. For example, it teaches you how to set up and run Bloodhound, how to look at the data from Bloodhound and abuse certain configurations. It mentions kerberosine, which is very common in a pin test or red teaming. The persistent sections were very neat and very helpful because I have been on engagements where I get access to an account and the security team at the client finds out about it and they cut off the account or they reset the password on the account and I no longer have access. So the stuff that it teaches you is really useful and stuff that I've used to keep persistence with that access. Also, companies are gonna have fully patched systems. They're gonna have antivirus running, most definitely. So it is more realistic in the sense of needing to bypass some of those measures and other certifications or whenever you're playing capture the flag, antivirus is rarely running. And here, all the systems are fully patched so the bypassing technique is very uh, relevant into the real world. Now, as far as the CRTP helping you land a job, 
Now I'm based in the US. Um, I have seen a lot of people say that they're in other countries like India. And in those countries, they have said that the CRTP has greatly helped them in landing jobs or progressing their career. So if that's the case for you, I would definitely say yes, this certain will help you get a job in those situations. Um, in the US, it's not as popular as certification such as the OACP, but people who do have the certification, they do recognize that the cert does give very good value. So in the US, if you're looking for a job with just this cert, you might have a little bit of difficulty just because the name recognition isn't as big as other certs such as the OACP. Um, that's not to say that the cert is of a lower quality. I just think that it's just not as recognized or as popular as a cert such as the OSCP, so you might not have as much ease as getting a cert like the OSCP if you're in the US. So how does it compare to the OSCP? Now the OSCP is more of a pen testing cert and this one's more of a red teaming. In the pen testing world, you don't care as much about monitoring and the client catching you because you're running all these loud port scans and you're running a lot of loud tools. And in red team, you're being more stealthy and you're trying to bypass a lot of the defenses that the company has. On OSCP, you learn a lot about like SQL injection, uh, cross-site scripting, you learn uh, in-map. And I feel like for the OSCP, there's just more that you need to learn. And in this one, it's more focused on Active Directory and Windows environments. In the OSCP, you see Windows and Linux, but that's not to say that the OSCP is better, it's just that the OSCP prepares you more for a pen testing job, and this one's more of an active directory uh, red teaming cert. The OSCP would definitely help you more if you're looking for your first pen testing job, and in my eyes, if you're coming into pen testing brand new, I would say the OSCP will help you prepare for the job better than the CRTP. If you're already in the field, I would say the CRTP might help you a lot more than the OSCP because you're already doing a lot of stuff that the OSCP teaches you, uh, whereas the CRTP will show you a lot more attacks uh, related to Active Directory that you might not be familiar with. Overall, it's a very good sir. I would definitely recommend it, and I do recommend it whenever people ask me about it. I think the price is fair, and the customer service is definitely one of the best customer service that I've dealt with as far as uh, certifications go. Whenever I did have any questions or concerns, they were very friendly and they answered any of the questions that I did have. I did like the videos a lot. They were easy to follow and they were technical. Like the course content said, it did have defense part, which is really cool. Um, and there is a good focus on defense. So everything that you learn attack wise, you'll learn defense wise as well, which is very important in red teaming because whenever you're presenting an attack to a client or pen testing, um, you also have to show uh, the defense or how to fix that. So it is really cool that they also covered a good amount of defenses. And if you still have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Also like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.